this week we will be talking through engineering drawings, correct? Yeah. Cool. All you guys. Just wanted to show you guys I made this model. It's not that complicated, but I want to show the basic features of engineering drawings that we have. Uh, obviously, all these dimensions migrated on the sketch, and I made a couple of holes. To start engineering drawings, all you have to do is either make a drawing of the active model or just make a new one and bring the model in. Here, we want to make a drawing of the active model. Choose the template that you want. In this case, we just go with the default isodraft. It takes us in the engine drawing template and you can see it automatically brings my model in. I can go ahead and change the scale to what I want, just using the scroll on your mouse. And if I do this, if I go to the right side, give me the right view. If I go top, you can see the top view. If I do here, I get the ISO view. Let's do these three views very fast. And don't worry where you place them, you can always move them. Just like that. Now I have the views. Uh, what I can do is that I can create more views. There are many different uh, views available. You can just do like a detail view of uh, whatever. Say you want a detail here, you have a feature. You can go ahead and uh, add that detail view here. So you put it here. Well, pay attention. Uh, we can move this whenever we want and it's gonna update that automatically. I mean, in this case, I don't really have anything to show there, but if you have something that you want more detail, you can always put the detail view on. I mean, there are many different other views as well. Uh, section views and all that stuff that uh, more advanced CAD users can use. Obviously, I have all my uh, views here, but if you didn't have that, you can just go ahead and find it from here. Section view, auxiliary, whatever you want. So, this is cool. Um, and I might be getting ahead of myself on this question though, but what if we wanted to add dimensions to the engineering drawing? Yeah, so dimensions is the next part. You guys pay attention that I had a couple of dimensions on my part already. Yeah. So I can either go ahead and use the uh, retrieve command. Let's see where to find it here. And just go ahead and search it. I have this command here. Yes, so where it was, but right here. Or was it right here? Show me right there. Retrieve right here. One more time. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. So I have that command. I can press on like a view and it automatically retrieves whatever dimension I had on that view on my model. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to manually dimension anything. If you don't want to, you can just put the dimensions on there or just use the smart dimension and dimension whatever you want. Uh, we call this a smart dimension because it's actually smart you go on a hole, it gives you the, the uh, diameter. You go between two holes, it gives you the distance. So it's just smart to know that uh, whatever you select. So it kind of just adapts to whatever, wherever your yeah. cursor is at the time. So say I select on this and this out right here. <laughs> so it's, say you want this to give you the distance or this. It's, it's really up to you. You also have the ability to add stuff such as uh, center marks, center lines. I'm just gonna go ahead and search it again. It shows me where it is. 
or let me move this right here. You have all these different things they can use. I mean, you have all these symbols, you have the center marks, put it wherever you want, uh, between two things or uh, whatever, a hole, put it on there if you want to. You have all those available as well. You can do that. Uh, all these different annotations are all here. Or you can even do a call out. Select on the hole, for example, and see it automatically got the information right from the model itself. I don't have to do anything. You already knew it's a 10.5 drill through hole right there. Very simple and fast. So you have all these different dimensions, including the smart dimension, all these different annotations for your drawing. You can add text, do whatever, uh, different views, uh, tolerances. If you have anything on your model, you can automatically use the uh, retrieve command to get those. Uh, so it's, it's very, very detailed in terms of what you can do with the engine drawing here. You can do everything basically. It's as complete as it gets. Uh, so that was it for uh, how to make the engineering drawing part. But then we have another command here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the uh, create 3D command. I don't know if you guys have used it or heard of it. That's another powerful 2D to 3D command. Uh, so what you really do is select the template that you want. If you have an engine drawing that you wanna create 3D for, you can do this and just do the views. Uh, there are different options, what dimensions you wanna bring in. So, uh, what view you wanna bring in, and then you just uh, pick the views and it automatically adjusts the views with respect to each other. I'll show you guys a cool example here. Uh, I don't necessarily wanna do the same engineering drawing. Let's go ahead and do a different example for you so you don't get bored. Let's see. Uh, this is cool because not only you can do the, uh, let me find my DWG. This is cool because not only you can do it with solid, you can do it with the DWG files as well. So like if you have an AutoCAD model that you wanna create 3D for, uh, you can go ahead and do, do so. And that's super cool, it gives it a minute to open it up. It was a bit of slow today. I can hide different layers, you know, if I don't need them. And that's pretty cool. If you, this is a DWG file, so this is from AutoCAD drawing. So you can hide uh, any layers that you don't want. So like one question that I get asked a lot is that if you bring in drawings, can you bring in the layers too? And then sure you can. And you guys saw that I can do that and even hide them. So the 3D command, uh, uh, create 3D command, you just give it the template that you want. Just grab 
uh, the views. You can either go ahead and set a full line. Here, let's do this, let's set a full line from here. Here, you can see, and also let's set another fold line for this one. This fold line just help you match the views better. So you do that, you finish it up. I was telling you that it matches like the views together, and that's what I mean. It brings you to the, into the 3D options, and then all you need to do is just grab. And not only you can do that, you can like pick whatever point. See it right, right there. there. Nice, very cool. So pick whatever point and then you can do that. And also all these dimensions that you saw was this color. It all moved to blue. That just means they're migrated on the model. And now you can use those to directly drive your model. So you don't have to go back to drawing anymore. Okay. Yeah. Understood. So another final thing that I have is that, uh, let's go back to the drawings. Uh, say I come here and I make this 30 at 29. Right. So you make changes to your model. What happens to your drawing is that you go back to drawing. You can go ahead and update. And it even shows you that this dimension here has changed 29, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to worry about anything. And then obviously I forgot to do that, but you can get rid of that warning as well. Mm. So how drawings work in SolidEdge is that uh, we allow designers, SolidEdge allows designers to have full control in 3D environments. So if you change anything on the 3D environment, it automatically matches your drawing. So your drawing will update. You just have to press one button and all the dimensions will automatically update. So you have full control on your model in 3D. And that's one important thing about SolidEdge is with everything such as synchronous technology, smart dimension, all those tools, you have full control in 3D. So you don't really have to go back to 2D anymore. Mm -hmm. And I guess with that is, that's all I have for today's presentation.